the question is, how long does it take to become a fighter pilot? This is a great question. It's not quite as straightforward as you'd think, so let's get into it. So initially, in order to become a fighter pilot, you need to become an officer. In order to become an officer, you can go to the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. You can do ROTC in college. You can do OTS, Officer Training School, post-college. And then lastly, you can apply directly to the Guard. That's like the state's miniature Air Force. Either way, you're gonna need a four-year degree, so there's four years right there. After that, you're gonna become a lieutenant, and you're gonna become what's called a casual lieutenant. You're waiting for pilot training to start. So typically, you'll go to your pilot training base. There's one of four bases for the Air Force, but recently, they've had pilots farmed out to different bases. We have a few here at Luke Air Force Base that are helping us with some admin paperwork and things like that while they wait for pilot training to start. In the meantime, they'll go to uh, initial flight training. Initial flight training is in Pueblo, Colorado. They'll learn how to fly on low performance prop planes. It's a about an eight week course. They're flying the DA-20. Just It's a taste of how the Air Force flies and do they have the ability to make it to the next level. After that, they'll start pilot training. They'll start on the T-6 Texan II. That's a 1100 horsepower prop plane. It's come almost like a P-51 Mustang. And they'll spend six months learning how to fly on that. From there, it'll branch into two different paths. Most of the pilots will go on to fly the T-1, which is a business type jet. And then the people that are selected that have the ability to potentially become fighter pilots will go on to fly the T-38. And they'll fly that for six months doing the same thing they did in T-6s, just again, at a lot faster speed. From there, they'll go to Introduction to Fighter Fundamentals. And that's uh, about an eight week course. They're learning how to tactically employ the T-38. And then after that, they will finally go to their base where they're gonna learn how to fly. For instance, for me, it was the F-16 at Luke Air Force Base. I'm an instructor here at Luke on the F-35, so we're getting a lot of new students here coming directly to the F-35. And they'll spend about nine months learning how to fly the F-35 or the T-6 or whatever fighter that uh, they get selected for, learning how to employ it air to air, air to ground, and then uh, integrating with other assets. After that, they will officially become a F-16 or F-35 fighter pilot. We'll ship them off to a combat Air Force base. That's where they can actually deploy from. And believe it or not, the first job that they're gonna have when they get to that base is to be in charge of the snack bar. So you made it all this way. You're in charge of the snack bar. Your primary job is making sure that the fridge is stocked with soda. They're not yet quite a combat wingman, so they need to go through about three months of training. And then after that, if that squadron deploys, they will, um, they will go to combat. So now they are a wingman. It's the first non-grade sheet ride. It's a pretty big thing for a, a new fighter pilot. And they'll be a wingman for about a year. And that's where you're attached to your flight lead. You're doing whatever he or she says. After about a year, they'll be selected to go into the flight lead upgrade program, the FLUG. And that's where they'll learn how to fly or control two to four aircraft out there. And so they'll be that flight lead controlling other wingmen out there. After about a year to two years of being a flight lead, some pilots will be selected to become an instructor pilot. And that's kind of the highest overall level that a pilot can be. And they'll be charged with teaching the uh, wingmen how to become combat wingmen and the flight leads how to control those four different aircraft. And at that point, so you're about five years into your Air Force career, you will have checked most of the boxes. But it's important to know that the learning is never over. You're always trying to get it a little bit better. In a single seat, multi-role fighter like the F-16 or the F-35, there's a unlimited amount of information to learn. You need to learn about your jet. You need to learn about the adversary's jet. You need to learn about the other friendly jets because you're gonna be the the seed team lead, the suppression of enemy air defense team lead in charge of you know, half a dozen different assets going out there. So you need to know what their capabilities are, what, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, so that you can build a successful mission plan. So that's uh, how long it takes to become a fighter pilot. The average career is about 20 years. You'll owe a 10 year commitment after you get your wings from pilot training. But I hope that helps. Make sure to subscribe to Sandbox. I'll be doing a whole lot more videos on different aspects of being a fighter pilot. So make sure to subscribe, take care, and I'll see you soon.